Have you ever wondered what the best fiction books of all time are? In our fast-paced world, full of distractions, finding the right book to lose yourself in is crucial. Today let's dive into the world of iconic fiction, looking at timeless masterpieces that have influenced readers and provoked deep feelings generations. Although there's a consensus on the existence of must-read fiction books, what exactly these are can vary widely. Fiction's vastness and complexity ensure that every reader can find a story that truly resonates with them. It offers narratives that critique societal norms, tales that incorporate elements of magical realism, stories of personal growth, and others that question the absurdities of bureaucracy and war. Such is the allure of fiction, its ability to mirror the extremes of human experience, and its power to alter perceptions, that it continues to command an indelible place in our collective consciousness. It fosters empathy, broadens our understanding of the world, and nourishes our imagination, transporting us to realms we never knew existed, while simultaneously illuminating the profound truths of the human condition. So, whether you're a seasoned reader or a novice, there's always a story waiting to captivate your heart and mind. Join us on a literary journey through some of the greatest works of fiction ever penned. Pride and Prejudice, a romantic tale by Jane Austen, critiques early 19th century societal norms. Published in 1813, this enduring classic captivates readers for its in-depth exploration of love and societal expectations. Central to the narrative is the compelling love story of Elizabeth Bennet, a lively and intellectual woman, and Mr. Darcy, an initially distant yet honorable man. Beyond romance, Austen critically addresses the societal constraints on women during her time, illuminating the significance of marrying for love rather than social standing or wealth. Her character, Elizabeth, embodies this principle, embodying wit and independence that continues to inspire. Simultaneously, Austen's satirical outlook on societal norms provides enduring insights into human nature. Pride and prejudice transcends being a mere love story, it mirrors society, solidifying its status as one of the greatest fiction works ever written. Novel continues to captivate readers with its timeless themes and engaging characters. George Orwell's 1984 is a dystopian novel that warns of the dangers of totalitarianism. In the setting of Airstrip One, formerly Great Britain, the narrative unfolds in a world under the grip of a single party, led by Big Brother. Winston Smith, the lead character, works for the Ministry of Truth, involved in propaganda and historical revisionism. Winston however secretly despises the party and aspires for rebellion. His life spirals dangerously when he falls for Julia, also a party member. The novel is a stark exploration of the human spirit under oppression, surveillance, and the elimination of truth. It presents Orwell's understanding of political systems through brilliant storytelling, making 1984 an engaging read. Its themes of individuality, freedom and truth resonate universally, securing its place as a top work of fiction. Orwell's chilling vision of a future totalitarian state remains a powerful commentary on the dangers of unchecked power. The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood is a feminist dystopian novel set in a not-too-distant future where women are barely more than property. This ominous tale unfolds in Gilead, a society birthed from the ashes of the United States. Low fertility rates plague this world, leading to the objectification of fertile women or handmaids, who are forced into servitude for the elite. Offred, our protagonist, provides an intimate view of this existence, where women are reduced to mere vessels. With her identity stripped away, Offred is denied basic rights, living a life defined by her ability to reproduce. Atwood's narrative skillfully delves into power dynamics, gender inequality, and religious fundamentalism, making this novel a page-turner. But it's not merely a tale of despair, it's a story of unyielding resistance, resilience, and the strength of human spirit that shines even in the bleakest circumstances. Atwood's novel is a chilling reminder of the importance of safeguarding women's rights. The Lord of the Rings by J.R.R. Tolkien is an epic fantasy tale that has defined the genre. It's a comprehensive narrative of bravery, unity, and the perpetual contest of good against evil, set amid the intricately portrayed realm of Middle-earth. The tale revolves the unsuspecting hero Frodo Baggins, burdened with the colossal responsibility of obliterating a potent ring threatening to engulf the world in darkness. Tolkien's virtuoso storytelling, complex plot twists and painstakingly detailed universe have solidified the Lord of the Rings's stature among the most pivotal novels in history. 
The awe-inspiring breadth of Tolkien's creation, stretching from the serene Shire to the fiery chasms of Mount Doom, is paralleled only by the profundity of his characters, each bearing their unique histories, traditions, and languages. Tolkien's Middle-earth continues to inspire readers with its rich lore and unforgettable characters. The Harry Potter series by J.K. Rowling is a magical tale of young wizards fighting against evil, known for its rich character development. Born as the Chosen One, Harry Potter, upon his 11th birthday, learns about his unparalleled wizarding talent. As the series unfolds, we accompany Harry through his exhilarating journey across diverse magical landscapes. From the enchanting corridors of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, to the eerie depths of the Forbidden Forest, even to the high office drama within the Ministry of Magic, every location adds to the captivating narrative. Rowling masterfully crafts numerous characters, each with their distinct narratives, conflicts, and evolutions. The series is a splendid tapestry of magic, friendship, and courage, where the fight of good against evil acts as the central thread. It delves into themes of sacrifice, choice, and growing up with a brutal honesty that seldom children's literature dare to reflect. As the series progresses, Harry's transformation from a naive boy to a mature wizard is mapped with an acute sense of human psychology. It offers a mirror to our world, albeit magically distorted, where values of love, loyalty, and bravery, the enchanting spells and curses. The magic of Harry Potter lies not just in its fantastical elements but also in its humane storytelling. This layered narrative that the complexity of life through the lens of magic has catapulted the series into a cherished classic in children's literature. Indeed, the series is so intricately woven and deeply engaging that it has etched its place in the pantheon of timeless literature. J.K. Rowling's series has captured the hearts of millions making it a modern classic in children's literature. Moving on to a different genre, To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee is a classic tale of morality and innocence set against the backdrop of a racially divided town. This story unfurls through Scout Finch, a youngster in the fictional Maycomb, Alabama. Scout, her brother Jem, and friend Dill witness the intricacies of their small-town life. The narrative's pivot revolves around Atticus Finch, their father defending Tom Robinson, a black man unjustly accused of a crime. In To Kill a Mockingbird, Lee delves into racial injustice, class, and innocence loss, presenting a vibrant image of the American South in the Great Depression era. Atticus Finch, a figure of undying justice and empathy personifies a moral hero imparting to his children and readers the significance of advocating for truth despite daunting challenges. Harper Lee's novel continues to be a staple in American literature teaching lessons of empathy and understanding. It's a testament to the enduring power of literature to shed light on the darkest corners of human nature and society. From the racially divided town of Maycomb, we switch to the Roaring Twenties in F. Scott Fitzgerald's The Great Gatsby. This novel follows Jay Gatsby, an enigmatic wealthy man who yearns for Daisy Buchanan, his old love. Gatsby hosts grand parties hoping Daisy might make an appearance. The story is told by Nick Carraway, Gatsby's neighbor, who introduces us to the opulent jazz age. In The Great Gatsby, Fitzgerald vividly portrays an era of excess, where wealth and status reign supreme. Still the novel explores deeper, darker themes, critiquing the emptiness of the American dream and the destructive nature of wealth. Fitzgerald scrutinizes the elusive nature of love, happiness, and success. Gatsby's dream remains unattained despite his wealth and fame, leading to his downfall. Fitzgerald's novel is a poignant examination of the flawed American dream, a promise of success and happiness that often yields emptiness and despair. Fitzgerald's The Great Gatsby continues to be a staple in American literature, a timeless tale of love, ambition, and the relentless pursuit of a dream. From the glitz of the jazz age, we now transition to the open sea in Herman Melville's masterpiece, Moby Dick. This gripping narrative follows Captain Ahab, a man consumed by an obsessive quest to hunt the white whale, Moby Dick, who has maimed him. Told through the eyes of Ishmael, a sailor aboard the Pequod, we witness Ahab's self-destructive quest. His vengeance drives him and the crew towards the edge, forcing them into perilous, unexplored waters. In Moby Dick, Melville delves into profound themes of obsession, vengeance, and the devastating inclinations of mankind. The white whale symbolizes unattainable and indomitable natural forces that humanity futilely attempts to conquer. Despite insurmountable odds, Ahab's pursuit persists, pushing him deeper into insanity and closer to his downfall. 
This novel is a powerful exploration of the human struggle against indomitable natural forces and one's self-destructive obsessions. Moby Dick remains a timeless classic, a tale of obsession and revenge set against the vast and unforgiving backdrop of the open sea. From the tumultuous seas of Moby Dick, we now journey to the vast landscapes of Russia in Leo Tolstoy's epic War and Peace. A panoramic tome set during the Napoleonic Wars, War and Peace, interlaces the lives of five aristocratic families against a backdrop of social chaos. In Tolstoy's grand portrait, history, fate, and the dynamics of power are explored, shedding light onto the human condition amidst tumultuous times. The novel probes into the repercussions of these epical events on Russian society, displaying a spectrum of human emotions and experiences. From battlefields to grand ballrooms, we witness the transformation of lives ensnared in the crossfire of history. This narrative is not just a historical epic but an exploration of the internal lives of a broad array of characters, each from optimistic Pierre Bezukhov to practical Andrei Bolkonsky, contributes unique perspectives, weaving a rich tapestry of human experiences. War and Peace stands as a pivotal work portraying Russian society during upheaval. Tolstoy's novel, with its intricate plot and complex characters, remains a timeless classic, a testament to the enduring power of literature to capture the human spirit in times of war and peace. From the grandeur of Russia's aristocratic society in War and Peace, we now descend into the gritty underbelly of St. Petersburg in Fyodor Dostoevsky's Crime and Punishment. This is a psychological thriller that immerses us in the depths of a man teetering on the edge. Raskolnikov, our protagonist, is a poverty-stricken, desperate former student who commits a bone-chilling murder in a fit of despair. Dostoevsky guides us through Raskolnikov's guilt-riddled psyche, grappling with his crime's fallout. Rather than a crime narrative, this is an exploration of guilt, redemption, and conscience. As Raskolnikov navigates a labyrinth of self-imposed isolation and paranoia, he embarks on a path of self-destruction. His post-crime torment, internal battle and ultimate confession form a compelling journey into the human psyche. Crime and transcends a mere crime tale to delve into the human condition's profound depths and the moral weight of our deeds. Dostoevsky's masterful storytelling and psychological insight have cemented crime and punishment as one of the greatest novels of all time. From the romantic tales of Jane Austen to the psychological depths of Fyodor Dostoevsky, these books have created a revolution in the panorama of fiction. We've journeyed through Austen's England, Orwell's dystopia, Atwood's oppressive regime, the epic fantasies of The Lord of the Rings, and Harry Potter, the racial tensions in To Kill a Mockingbird, The Jazz Age in The Great Gatsby, The Seas in Moby Dick, The War in War and Peace, and the moral dilemmas in Crime and Punishment. We hope you reveled in this voyage across some of the most distinguished fiction books of all time. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more literary adventures,